favorite sayings is, the best camera is the one you have with you. And that's easy to say when you're walking around shooting with uh, really nice lenses or filming with a drone, but it's nice to be reminded once in a while why that statement is so powerful. Recently I was on a trip for a couple of days for training and I took a whole bunch of my equipment, I filled up one of my bags and I thought, you know what, I don't know what each day is gonna entail, I don't know what the locations are gonna be, so I might as well just have as many of the cameras with me as possible and then I'll pick and choose depending on what I'm doing. For me there's always a balance between weight and bulk versus quality versus what I'm gonna be doing on the water. If I'm out on the water for the day and I'm in a beautiful location, I'll usually take nicer equipment because it's one of my passions. I love filming, I love taking photos, so I'll deal with the bulk in order to get nicer quality. But if I'm there to learn, I wanna focus on learning more than the equipment. And obviously, I can't help myself. I always wind up slipping a camera or two extra in my hatch. But if I'm really learning technique, I want to try to keep the kayak as light as possible. And actually on this trip, I used one of the tips that I learned uh, during one of our live sessions from Kayak Life. And what he said is when you have equipment that you don't want banging around, use a paddle float to keep it in place. So you put your bag or your dry bag in place and then you slide a paddle float over it, inflate it, and it'll keep it in the same place the entire time. So it was three days out on the water. And I wanted to focus on learning more than all the other things. And of course I took GoPros with me because they're so easy to deal with. You don't really have to think about it. I use a mount right here on my shoulder so that I'm able to turn it on and off and not have to worry or interfere with anything I'm doing. I also took the 360 camera, which I've already posted a video on one of the days uh, when I knew we were gonna be in a really beautiful location. I put it on the bow of my boat and then I just let it record for a couple of different times throughout the day. But the main point of this video is that I had taken a Canon 5D, I had taken the Sony A6300 with the nice lenses, and then I actually wound up using this little Canon power shot actually almost all the time instead. So I took the Canon 5D with a couple of the nicer lenses so that I thought, all right, if we're gonna be near a beach or we're gonna wind up playing in a place near where we launched, if I'm just taking a break or if maybe during lunch while other people are still playing, maybe I can break out the nice camera with the nice lens and I can take a couple of photos. That didn't happen the entire time, but I was glad that I had the camera with me just in case. And then I thought the 6300 has been my go-to lately, uh, but then after a bunch of tests, I realized just how good using the better lenses has been. And my mistake was I didn't take the kit lens with me. Since I was gonna be learning the entire time, I did not wanna have the extra weight of the really nice lenses with me. And I also knew that I was probably gonna spend some time upside down or swimming. So I didn't wanna take the risk of getting the really nicer lenses wet. So at the last minute I thought, you know what? I'll just take the power shot with me just in case. And I'm so glad I did. This is what I kept throwing into my dry bags. It's not the best quality, but I'm so glad I had it because I was able to shoot the entire weekend, little clips here and there. And I know that when I put together a video, this is what's gonna make all the difference. And so once again, I was reminded of why I love that saying of the best camera is the one you have with you. I had all these other nice cameras to choose from. This was the one I took the entire time with me. So the point of the rant is, if you don't have access to nice equipment, that shouldn't stop you from filming, from taking pictures. If you really like taking pictures, then just use anything you can get your hands on. And that goes with everything, it goes with paddling. The only way to get better is to continue taking lessons, to continue working with people that know more than you do, to just continue trying to compile as many tips as possible to continue growing in whatever skill that you're trying to develop. So I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe if you'd like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. And as always, look over at Guy Kipster. Thank you for watching. See you next time.